So I'm just thinking from that secrecy, they could actually be on that crash landed alien spaceship that's underwater. What's up Raging Nation, how's it going? This is Alex here and you're watching The Road to TF5. This is just a web series, we're talking about Transformers last night, this is episode number 65. And in this episode, we're going to start off with birthday shoutouts. Birthday shoutouts go to Rican Princess, Isaya Caleros, Darkness Johnson, Crazy Man 246, Daniel Torres, Casey Blake Pierce, Aditya Kaushik, Zohaib Shahid, Chai Town ST1, and Tyler Jones. Happy birthday to all y'all. Hope you had a good one. And thank you for your support at the Raging Nation. I really appreciate it. In this episode, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. So we got official news and some other stuff. Let's start off with official news. And you guys have seen that large banner that is promoting Transformers last night. It was shown in New York City and also some theaters. And of course, this banner is of Optimus Prime with a sword. And he appears to be fighting off a three-headed cyber dragon. And this is an official banner that is promoting Transformers last night. Well, now we have the official version of it. This image, or rather this banner, was tweeted officially from the Transformers movie uh, Facebook page and also the Twitter account. So this is official. This is the first little piece of um, promotional material for Transformers last night. And it's just surprising that they're showing this so early. It's pretty much a year away from the release. And they already have the poster for out for it. Well, in the form of a banner. So that is pretty awesome to know that they're really going strong with the marketing for this film. Now let's talk about something else that is official. Now this is pretty big news. Now this is a really, really big deal. And that is, there is a new addition to the Autobot team. And it's not Squeaks, because we already talked about that. It is a character that a lot of fans have been wanting to see for a very, very, very long time. And that is Hot Rod. Hot Rod is finally making his live action debut in the Transformers live action universe. In Transformers Last Night, we will see him for the very first time, and this is very, very exciting. The Transformers Facebook page, as well as the Twitter, has tweeted, or and also the Instagram account, this is a really big deal. This is like, like multi-social media promotion, and that is they have just posted the first official image of Hot Rod. Now let's take a look at this image right now. So we have Hot Rod here. We have his robot mode revealed. This would be the second image of a new Autobot, or rather a new uh, robot character. Um, and and um, the first one was Squeaks, and now we get to see Hot Rod. They didn't reveal his vehicle mode yet, but I have a feeling I know what it is based on these car parts. But let's take a look at this. Transformers Last Night, Hot Rod, he's obviously an Autobot. Uh, history, Bumblebee's brother in arms. Bumblebee's brother in arms. So he's going to be like the... Uh, there's Bumblebee and him have a little bit of history. And while he hasn't showed up in the last four films, this will be the first time where they're fighting alongside together. And maybe there's going to be a little bit of banter where they talked about how they used to fight on Cybertron together. All right? Personality. He's brash. He's slightly arrogant. And he's a protector. That sounds like Hot Rod to me. And I'm glad that they got the personality down because... That is a huge part of what makes these characters. Now let's take a look at Hot Rod. So we got a very, very um, Michael Bay-esque looking uh, robot mode. And what I like about this is that it, it's very solid. And what I mean by solid is that it's got a very a solid humanoid looking uh, look to it. Uh, the, it's kind of like Lockdown. You know, when you look at Lockdown's... Um, a robot mode, you can tell that he's um, he doesn't have parts all over the place. You know, Bumblebee's got parts all over the place. He almost looks a little bit fragile, but you you know that that is a um, that is a very humanoid looking robot. Now in this case, it looks even more humanoid looking. In fact, you can see where 
it's more, um, I guess more, uh, uh, it's got more of a figure. Like it's got, it looks like he has muscles because based on the way he's, uh, he's put together, like, you know, he's got like, um, like thigh muscles and shoulder muscles and, 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 and an upper, uh, upper chest, which is larger than the rest of his body. Right. So, you know, it, it looks good. And, um, it, he is a gray and red. And I think the big question here, uh, here is, um, what is his alt node? I'm positive it's going to be revealed in a week or next couple of weeks, but I'm going to guess it right now. And based on what I'm seeing in the middle of his chest, that looks like a Lamborghini logo. I know it's really, really small, but look at it. The, the emblem really looks like that black and gold that you see in a Lamborghini logo. Now to put more, um, put more uh, uh, evidence to it being a Lamborghini. Look at the back. Look at the back. You can see his engine. And if you look at the engine sideways, I'm pretty positive that says Lamborghini right there. So I decided to Google what a, um, a Lamborghini engine looks like. And it looks like this. Hot Rod is a Lamborghini. Okay. Now I'm not very familiar with the latest models of all the supercars are, that are out there. But, um, you know, Michael Bay is... is um, somebody who always welcomes the new uh, cars you know he's all about the new toys and he's always wanting to put the new cars in his films so i'm positive that this could be the the latest model of the lamborghini and it is going to be hot rod and it's a very very appropriate um uh, vehicle mode and what we're getting here is pretty much the first supercar in Transformers last night because I mean you got uh, Bumblebee he's a Camaro you got uh, uh, Crosshairs who's a Corvette I mean you got um, you also got uh, uh, Drift who is now a Mercedes uh, but now we have a Lamborghini in the ranks of the Autobots and every Transformers sequel they gotta add a new Autobot even if they don't make a big announcement about it there's always new Autobot members. I mean, they just throw them in there. But I'm glad they're making the announcement um, early because that way it's it's not like, oh, suddenly there's Jolt or suddenly there's the Twins with no explanation why and or the RC triplets. You know what I'm saying? So I like that they're doing this and they, they revealed the new Autobot to us. Really, really excited. And it's interesting to know that Hot Rod is actually... He hasn't been seen in any of the major scenes that have been filmed so far. We haven't seen him uh, driving along with the other Autobots. Uh, maybe he comes in later and then maybe he gets introduced as a robot first before his vehicle mode. But we're going to see his vehicle mode eventually, but it hasn't been filmed yet. Uh, but here's Hot Rod. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. Oh yeah, by the way, check out his his uh, his face. I mean, he's obviously got the very, very round eyes, which are kind of like bumblebees. And it looks like he even has a, a mouth for him to um, speak. So uh, there you have it. That's Hot Rod for you guys. And that is the big news uh, for this episode. And the next thing we're going to talk about is, of course, uh, what has been going on in social media. We're going to start off with... Um, uh, what I, I saw at uh, Sabertron.com. Sabertron uh, has uh, hosted a couple of photos that are pretty awesome. Uh, these were taken by uh, Sabertron, Sabertronian um, Elita One Prime. And she was just driving along. And then she happened to bump into um, Optimus Prime. Check it out. There's Optimus Prime right there. No sign of any other Autobots, but there was a Decepticon spotted. This is potentially Swindle. We don't know yet, but I'm just going to call it Swindle by now. And this is the first time I'm seeing a close-up photo of his side. And right here, you can see a faded Decepticon logo. And another thing we get to see is these... Um, the, the one of these military transports and now this is a light armored uh, military personnel transport and it's a uh, it's a very very uh, um, a beast like looking vehicle uh, I'm not sure if it's going to actually transform but it looks like it really should uh, for a vehicle like this this is something that should transform but anyways I'm gonna leave you the link on the description box below it's hosted at sabertron.com check out the link and you can see those nice photos 
Now, of course, Transformers and Michael Bay have been very, very strong on the uh, social media game. They've been posting all types of fun stuff here. And one of the things that they posted was this really cool 360 video. They're doing all types of new things now, uh, one of which is 360 video. And what they captured is a driving scene with Bumblebee driving through the wreckage of Chicago, it's not actually Chicago, it's the Detroit, the old Detroit Packard plant. Um, 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 Bumblebee is driving through it, followed by, of course, the Porsche Cayenne Pursuit uh, with the camera crane, and there was a guy who was obviously, um, or rather, they mounted a, a uh, the 360 cam to the, to the vehicle, and you can like move the camera around just like this by holding your phone. It doesn't work if it's on your PC or, or, or uh, well, maybe it does work on your PC, but it doesn't work on my Mac. But I'm watching it from my iPhone and I can go like this and see all around me. And one of the things that I noticed is that I noticed the, the uh, another piece of uh, product placement. The first product placement we saw is, of course, the Stella Artois truck. Well, now here's a Goodyear truck. <laughs> because if you just move to the right a little bit, you can see a Goodyear truck just in full view, okay? Which Bumblebee happens to drive by. Uh, you can check that out at the Transformers um, uh, Facebook uh, uh, page, okay? Check that out. It's there, and uh, it's pretty cool. Um, and also, it's, what's funny is that when you move to the right, you can see all the other uh, the crew members, all right? Another thing that was posted on the Facebook um, page was, uh, some, uh, was a Facebook Live video of Michael Bay and his crew doing some filming of an interior uh, action scene. All right. It wasn't anything major. It was really just uh, Mark Wahlberg and Gerard Carmichael, and it seems to be an intense sequence uh, that is very, very interesting. It wasn't just like running or, or like just like walking around or anything like that. It was actually something that is very, very related to the story, uh, a major plot point because in this scene, which in, or rather in this video clip, which is one hour, well, sorry, not one hour, 10 minutes long, there is one scene that really, really intrigues me, and that is Mark Wahlberg hiding behind Gerard Carmichael. Gerard Carmichael's got his hands up in the air, and the dialogue that, uh, Dr uh, that Mark Wahlberg says um, to Gerard Carmichael is, um, uh, easy, 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 um, it, it's after me. That's all he says. He goes, easy, easy, easy. It's after me. He wants me. It wants me. I think he says, it wants me, not he wants me. Okay? So, so in this video, there's nothing else out there except for some debris moving around in the background. They're looking at something down this corridor, and there's nothing there. Okay, so I'm positive it's going to be inserted in CG, but what this really means is that there's a human-sized Cybertronian, I'm going to say it's a Decepticon, there's a human-sized uh, Decepticon, and there's something that Cade Yeager has that it wants, okay? And there, here's something that is interesting also. I've noticed that the Confederate 61 motorcycle has not been seen with the other Decepticons. I'm talking about Swindo, Onslaught, and a Barricade. He's kind of doing, he's kind of off doing his own thing. I'm thinking that the human-sized Decepticon is the motorcycle, and it wants something that Cade has. Okay, so that's my theory right now. Once again, this is a video that you should definitely check out. It is posted on the Transformers Facebook page. Okay, you should check that out. Now, speaking of live action, I mean live video, there was another video that Michael Bay posted. Now, this was on the website. Um, uh, let me see what's this website. Uh, um, Yijibo.com, okay? Um, it's a Chinese website, and the reason why it's hosted on a Chinese website was because this was an exclusive video that was shown live to the, um, to the attendees of Cybertron Con, Con held in Shanghai. Cybertron Con in, in Shanghai is actually a Transformers exhibition that was held in Shanghai. Uh, it's not really a, a convention per se where they have dealer rooms like, uh, like um, you know, in BotCon and TFCon and all that. Um, it's more like an exhibition where you get to see displays and, and things like that. But anyways, this is an official event from Hasbro and it is a, a pretty big event. And one of the things that, the, uh, that Paramount did was allow a live stream of the behind the scenes 
streamed over to the fans over at Cybertron Con. And one of the things that is very, very interesting is that whatever was being shown there in the live stream was all done in a, uh, in a sound stage. Okay? And what was very interesting is that whatever they were filming in the sound stage uh, was, seemed to be a really, really big deal because it was a scene that takes place in a submarine. Okay, in a submarine. Okay, they built a submarine set uh, that was on a gimbal, so it could move uh, like all over the place. But it, there was a scene where Kate Yeager was there, along with uh, Laura Haddock's character. I think that's Laura Haddock's character. And something's uh, something is also very interesting is that there was um, this uh, th this uh, female motion cap mocap actress um, actress who was um, of course in her mocap suit. And she plays a small part in the scene where she goes up to Cade and then they, she does something with her arms and then she walks off. Now, if you watch this video, you're going to notice that it's a very, very interesting scene. I'm, gonna, uh, I'm going to read some of the dialogue that I heard that I jotted down. And then um, here, uh, after the, the, the uh, mocap actress uh, does something, Cade says, hey, where are you going? And then afterwards... Um, Kate Yeager says to Laura Haddock's character, he left us and tell me how you, tell me you know how to operate this. That's what he says. All right. Then later he says, uh, we're in the middle of the ocean. It's your sub, not mine. Dr like operate this thing. Okay. The, it seems like a pretty stressful scene. He was saying to Laura Haddock's character that we're in the middle of the ocean. This thing just left us. You please tell me you know how to operate this sub because... We got to get the hell out of here. That's what I gather from this scene. I don't know anything about a sub being a, in this movie. Um, you know, I, 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 it, it just came out of nowhere. All right. But I just remembered that there was uh, the Rolling Stone, um, the Rolling Stone um, uh, article or interview that was posted in January. And it did mention a submarine. And uh, here's what I'm, here's the, the excerpt. In the interview, it says, Finally, there's Transformers. They showed Bay an underwater rendering of a crash-landed alien spaceship, then a new dump truck Transformer with a cloak. Okay? So, of course, the dump truck Transformer with a cloak of, will be that, that dump truck with all the junk on it, but there's this underwater rendering of a crash-landed alien spaceship. Now, uh, Cade is in a submarine. The... Um, when you watch the when you watch the video, it says that Michael Bay can't tell us anything about this scene except that they're in a submarine, but that's it, okay? And then he says, "I can't tell you anymore." So I'm just thinking from that secrecy, they could actually be on that crash landed alien spaceship that's underwater, okay? So how they got there, I don't know, but it seems like they got to get out of there because um, because I. Uh, yeah, they can't stay there forever. So anyways, it's a very, very interesting scene. You gotta check out that video. I'm gonna leave you a link in the description box below. And um, the last thing I wanna mention is that um, in that same video, uh, Michael Bay mentioned um, all the international locations that they're gonna film at. Um, other than America, the, he mentioned England, Iceland, Cuba, Ireland, Scotland, and potentially Mongolia. Now, out of all those countries, Mongolia is the the only Asian country that they're potentially filming at. Um, and of course, the last known location for the Dinobots was, of course, in China. And directly above China is Mongolia. On the north side of China is uh, Mongolia. So I'm just thinking, if they're gonna be filming in the Mongolia, the only thing I could, the only reason why I could think they're filming there is because they gotta tie in or bring back the Dinobots, as suggested in the JoeBlow.com uh, plot leak. It did mention that Dinobots are coming back, so uh, I don't know how much of that is real, uh, but it seems like a lot of it is real. The Dinobots part is kind of far fetched, but them wanting to bring back Dinobots is actually a pretty big deal considering we didn't get to see a whole lot of them in Transformers Age of Extinction. So bringing them back would make a huge, huge uh, service for the fans. Okay, that, so that would be great. Uh, you know what? That is all I have to say in this episode. Um, you know what? I'm not going to do shout outs for this episode because it's going on for pretty long. I, I want to finish off with questions uh, from the Raging Nation that were tweeted to me if you hashtag the road to tf5 um it helps me locate your twitter questions to me uh by clicking onto the hashtag so make sure you do that and uh, so let's just go through with the questions 
TF Nerd asked me, what do you expect most from TF5? Do you think it's going to follow the same formula as the first three? Um, you know what? I th uh, with Michael Bay back on board, of course, it's going to have a lot of the same things that we've seen in the past. But I think that this is the first film out of the four that we've seen before, or rather the three sequels, that is going to follow, that is going to have a little bit of a, uh, a different feel to it just because we have different writers i i'm i'm i have a um a strong feeling about that we're gonna see a, a very very different uh kind of film but it's still gonna have a lot of the same elements in a michael bay film now the next question is from karen jones what would you what would you think the chances of ever seeing something like unicron and primus i think the chances of us seeing unicron and primus are very low in this film but having them mentioned is high. I believe that they're saving Unicron and Primus for something, you know, n closer to the n next three or four films in. But for right now, it's just the very, very early stages. It's kind of like how in uh, Avengers, they just started introducing, or rather they teased Thanos, but they didn't actually bring him in till uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, and then later, of course, Infinity War. You know what I'm saying? Uh, next question is from Beyond Ender. Do you think Optimus will return to Earth in TF5? Of course he will return to Earth. Even though he flew to outer space, he is going to come back. After all, we did see his alt mode in, in Michigan. Um, next is, uh, from BS0777, do you think that the Dinobots will return but have a bigger role in TF5 to TF4? Based on what I'm thinking so far, I think they will return. I can't guarantee you that because, well, there's no way I can guarantee any of that. But the hints are suggesting that Dinobots are coming back, all right? Or rather, or rather making a comeback. Final question comes from Patrick Solo. Been a fan since TF3. Thank you very much. And I was just wondering how big of a role do you think Cade Yeager will have in TF5? And I, th I think that Cade Yeager is going to have uh, a pretty big role in TF5. Bigger than he did in TF4. The main reason why I think that is because in TF4, um, you know, he was kind of clueless. He didn't know what to do. He's just, he's trying to, he's trying to help, but he doesn't know what he can do, right? In, in, um, in TF5, he's friends with the Autobots. He's completely aware of what's going on. And because of that, he's going to use what he knows and his resources to be able to help in whatever way he can. So, um, and plus his, his, his daughter and her boyfriend are out of the way so he can just focus on helping the Autobots. So I think he's going to have a much bigger role in TF5. And that's all I got to say in this episode. Uh, I appreciate all you guys for watching. I'm not going to do uh, Twitter shout outs in this episode, but if you do want a shout out, I'm going to do something a little bit different. And that is, is I'm going to be posting this video on Facebook. Why don't you head over to the Facebook um, a post and then click share. If you click share, I can see all the people that shared the video. I'm going to give shout outs to random uh, Raging Nation members who shared the video. Okay, so uh, that's it. That's all I got to say in this video. And what do you guys think about Hot Rod and Hot Rod's design? Um, I'm positive that's a Lamborghini, but if you don't think it's a Lamborghini, then what do you think it is? <laughs> But I'm positive it's a Lamborghini. But uh, there you have it. As always, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Raging Nation. Also follow me on Twitter, at Raging Nation. My name is Alex Yu. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. Oh, uh, he is going to be one hell of an opponent. Let me tell you that. Okay? Now, um, the, the, the one...